everyone, I'm Alex from Tokyo Weekender, and we are here at the beautiful Tokyo Weekender offices in the center of Rapungi Hills in Tokyo. And I'm joined here by my best friend, Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. Hi. Hey. So we are here to show you guys incredible home products from the Emotenashi selection. Mm -hmm. Now, Alex, why don't you tell them what the Emotenashi selection is? The Emotenashi selection is a collection of the best products and services from all over Japan, handpicked by people like you and me, i.e. Uh, foreign residents that are living in Tokyo. So with that, let's go take a look at what we have today. Let's do it. So Caitlin, what do we have today? So today we have the Aluminum Frame Series for Sports Uniforms by Aluna. And they're located in Saitama, which mm -hmm. is really close to Tokyo. Yes. Mm. So this is Japan's first frame exclusively made for sports uniforms. Mm -hmm. It is used by many of the professional teams in baseball, football, basketball, and F1 in Japan. Very cool. So it is marketed as the easiest to use jersey display frame in the world. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to test this out. Yes. It is made of aluminum, mm -hmm. high quality materials, mm -hmm. light and durable. So it's Absolutely. perfect for your cherished jerseys. Yeah, yeah. So I know this is like completely customizable in a lot of different ways. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so there's actually 72 different ways you can customize this, including there are six different colors that you can order this in. And if you look really closely, it doesn't look like aluminum. Uh, it looks like wood, and that's because it has a wood film mm -hmm. over it. But uh, there's six different colors there, and there's also 12 different colors and types of materials that you can put as the background. And you can see right here wow. we have a nice burgundy kind of rouge felt. I love that. And right next to you, Caitlin, you can see a uh, very nice AstroTurf as well. That's really cool. I yeah. think people will really love that and give that real sports feel to yeah, it. Yeah, it even has yeah. the smell of uh, a stadium. <laughs> we were smelling it earlier. Smells. Yes, but uh, it actually this is the same kind of AstroTurf that they use in uh, professional matches for international competitions. Wow, no yeah. way. All yeah. right. Very authentic. Very, very authentic. And also, if you uh, don't want to have a background in here, you can order it without any and just have a clear acrylic back on there as well. So you can okay. see both sides of the jersey. Yeah, I've seen them being hung like in a row, mm -hmm. um, kind of on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And so this way you can kind of see the both sides, right? It's exactly. kind of that type of, all right. Exactly. If you want to have Very your own cool. hall of fame in your uh, house or apartment, yeah. just, you know, a wall of these, <laughs> you can have that. No, a few people who might like that. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you want to see how easy yeah, these are let's, to let's put together? Let's see how easy this is. Yeah. Okay, you want to carry this out for us? Let us know how lightweight and durable it is. It is very lightweight. So I'm not <laughs> sure about the durability, but it feels durable at least. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we have the frame out. Let's see how easy it is to open. Yeah, so you just get those two little latches right over here. Okay. I'll help you pull this Thank open. Thank you. Okay. And it looks like this comes right off very there it is. easily. Yeah. Okay. And we have an Urawa Reds uh, jersey right here. This is from a local Saitama uh, football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, team. And it looks like it's all signed too. It doesn't come with this. Very sadly. cool. But, uh, so these, I know from our discussion earlier, mm -hmm. you can get different types mm -hmm. of kind of hangers for mm -hmm. this display case. We have a silver one over here mm -hmm. that has an attachment, which we'll show you in a moment. And then we have this plastic one. And it is very lightweight. And this just clips so easily like that. Yes. And then the yeah. beautiful thing about this, though, is that these are curved in such a way that they don't actually uh, damage the jersey at all. So it, you know, prevents any damage over time. Beautiful. And everything in here is made completely in Japan out of, again, very high quality materials. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look at that other kind of hanger that we were talking about. Yes. And I, I yeah. just wanted to mention mm -hmm. that this jersey does not, it's not pressed. So it's mm -hmm. just laying very naturally in there, the way that it falls. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't create any creases on the jersey or wrinkles. So I, I do really like that aspect of it. Yeah. Let's just put that back here. Yeah. Now, here is a basketball jersey. This is from uh, Rui Hachimura. So let's take a look at this other kind of hanger that we have in here. Ooh. All right. So you have this beautiful wire frame on the top, but if you can just lift up that bottom part as well, you can see 
Yeah, you have the shorts connected just on a chain right there. Very easy to display. It's great that you can display both the shorts and the top mm -hmm. if that's something you have. And then also if you want the plastic frame, you can get that. Mm -hmm. If you want the metal frame, you can customize that. So I, I love that they have different options. They're both really lightweight. Mm -hmm. And I love the felt frame. Yes, this Background, is beautiful. Background, that's gorgeous. Yes, and this is definitely the perfect gift for a sports fan of any kind of sport. Any sports fan would love this. Exactly. Thank you for joining us. Yes, and if you want to learn more about this product, you can look in the link in the description below. That's You'll have right. all the information right there. So right in front of us, we have these four beautiful picture frames. And if you look really closely, you'll see that these are all made of aluminum. And check mm. this out. This is the Aluminium series, made of aluminum. Okay. And it is made by a company called Aluma. Okay, yeah. wow. This company has been around for a very long time, since 1967 wow. to be exact. And uh, they make some of the most beautiful and well-designed and well-made picture frames in the world. They're gorgeous. All handmade in Japan. Isn't that amazing? Love handmade in Japan products. Yeah, exactly. And uh, these are cast aluminum. Uh, these are also hand finished and you can see it has a kind of, I would say maybe a glossy kind of matte vibe yeah. to them, right? It's a beautiful metal matte vibe mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, and uh, this vibe uh, kind of, I would say, accentuates the actual aluminumness of it. It doesn't try to hide from it at all. Right, right, absolutely. Yes. And also, if you look really closely, you'll see that this glass right here is not actually glass. It is made of UV-treated acrylic. Right? Wow, okay. So that's mm -hmm. great, especially in Japan. We have earthquakes, oh, yeah. so it's great for preventing shattering. Mm -hmm. So if you had real glass, you'd have to really be careful because it might shatter quite more easily. So yes. with the acrylic, you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about that as much. It's yes. a little bit more durable than your average glass. Not only that, but since it is UV treated, that means that you are not going to have sun damage uh, from the sun hitting your pictures. So no fading over yeah, time. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I love that. So uh, yeah, and there's, as you can see, four different variations here. What do, uh, what do we have? Yeah, so they're completely customizable mm -hmm. um, all the way down to the millimeter. Mm. So whatever you need framed, whether it's a graduate document, a photo, all the way up to a massive poster size, you can get it done with this company. Mm -hmm. They're simple yet sophisticated design. They come in traditional sizes as well. So if you just want to let them know, hey, I need an A4 or an A3, B2, they've got you covered. Mm -hmm. These frames enhance the work. Mm. They do not distract from the pictures. That's what they really want to be known for. They want to accentuate the artwork mm -hmm. and not distract from what you really want framed in the middle. Absolutely. Each frame has its own function and design. We have the cut over here, the lean, the rim, and the flap. So let's get into kind of what makes each of these frames special. So starting on the left side for your viewers at home, we have the cut over here. And it's called the cut because it has these kind of cut off edges on the side, very angular and uh, at the same time very inconspicuous from the front. It's a very, very sleek. Very sleek, very minimalist. I just love the way that this looks. But if you look at it from the side, it kind of looks like it's floating up as well. Oh, wow. You can kind of see the angles making that there as well. So a very light and lean look. That's uh, cut. And mm -hmm. right next to cut is my personal favorite out of the four, this one. This is called lean. And lean. why do you think this is called lean? It's not, it doesn't have to do with the width, right? No, no, it's this is actually very a, lean. It's a chunky boy, so it is not okay. lean in that okay. reg in that uh, regards. But if you look, it actually stands up on its own, so you can lean this. I'm sorry, you can actually lean this against the wall. Okay. Right? Oh, right. Okay. So Isn't I've seen great? I've seen that done many times. Mm -hmm. It's a very beautiful aesthetic, yes. especially with larger pieces. Absolutely. You can hang it traditionally as well. Yes. So All of these frames you can hang on walls. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one just has that added feature to it. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And what do you have on your side? So here we have the rim. It is a simple design with a rim around it one millimeter thick and five millimeters high. It really creates a sense of depth when mm -hmm. you look into the photo. And what's cool about this is it can be placed flat on a table and you can have that really kind of you know, angular perspective mm -hmm. type look onto the photo. So next we have the flap. Let's 
take a look at it. So this one slopes down gently from the center outward and it is wide and elegant and it has these beautiful triangular corners. So from different angles, it looks different ways. From this angle, it looks slightly more flat. Mm -hmm. And from this angle, it has more depth and it has more of a raised look. So as you can see, Illumium has these four beautiful designs and I would honestly want to put any of these on my wall. I don't know about I you. I know, They're, they can be used for so many different types of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a beautiful photo, a document that you are very proud of, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, even like, like we said, up to poster size, up to even bigger, down to the millimeter, you can get this customized. And I think that's so great and really cool. Absolutely. And they're really beautiful. And like you said, durable, light, what more could you ask for in a brain? Exactly. <laughs> and to learn more about these, you can look in the link in the description below to find all information about them. So we have in front of us these three absolutely beautiful handbags, uh, and you're going to know more about handbags than yes, I am, so I'll let you explain I'm a little a bit more. handbag lover. Yes, you are. So these are very exciting for me. I'm super excited to review these products. Mm -hmm. Very up my alley. Yes, yeah, so these are called the <laughs> Negai. These are the A3 size ethical leather bags by Ethical Leather Sobani. It's a very long name for a company, but beautiful, beautiful bags right here. And they're from Shizuoka. Yes, they are, right south very of Tokyo. Nice. And this Beautiful. company has been making synthetic leathers for 80 years. And check this out, they are the number one manufacturer of synthetic leathers in all of Japan. Wow. And second in the entire world. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So they make all sorts of synthetic leathers, and these are made from the exact same kind of leathers that you would have, sorry, synthetic leathers that you would have in car seats and car interiors as well. As you said, mm -hmm. made of high quality ethical leather, mm -hmm. all made in Japan, high quality sewing techniques involved. And did you know, but mm. Japan has some of the highest quality manufacturing in the world. Absolutely. And these have passed a stress test, which they normally use for cars and car seating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these have been thrown around in every which way mm -hmm. and come out on top. So these are going to last a very long time. Yeah. Now, how long exactly? So a normal synthetic leather only lasts about two to three years because of something called hydrolysis. Basically, the water content inside comes out and it just kind of crumbles. And That's definitely disgusting. happened to me You've with seen bags that before, before right? yes. Yeah, absolutely. But these guys are actually rated to last 10 years or more. Isn't that wow. absolutely crazy? That's a long time. That's like an actual leather bag, you know, honestly. And at the same time, they're very lightweight because, you know, it's lighter than leather. That's right. Yeah, yeah so lightweight is super important to me nowadays. Mm -hmm. I have a million things I like to carry around, so that is a major selling point. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the bag yeah, and so see how it looks on me. Yes, you have the red one right here. We also have yes. a beautiful black like and a dark goes. brown too. Very well with my outfit. Mm -hmm. As Red's you can see, color. they are quite large. So, mm -hmm. you know, if there's important documents, if you're in architecture or, yeah. you know, any of these types of professions where you need to not crease your paperwork. Yes, absolutely. This is what's up. So yeah. you got the A3 size oh, paper in A3. here there to show is. you that. Yeah, you can fit it very comfortably in here. You're not going to ruin those presentations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is amazing pockets that we have here that will fit any size cell phone, really. Let me show you. I've got a cell phone here, mm -hmm. basic iPhone 13 Pro, mm -hmm. and it's got two cases here. So you could, you could fit the Max in here easily, or if you have like a large cell phone case, Whatever it is, you can fit both of them in here very, very easily. It's got a great side zip here, maybe for your laptop accessories, things that you don't want to lose. So yeah, it's got a great amount of space. Mm -hmm. It's super light, mm -hmm. which is great for running around the city. It's pretty easy to carry too. It's very easy to carry. Mm -hmm. It looks stylish. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I mean, I could easily carry one of these as well. If I wanted a merce, yes. I would say it's pretty yes. unisexual. And it even has little feet in the Looks bottom. It's very professional on you. It does. Thank you. I like the professional. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so multi-sex, anyone can use these products really. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And they have a very professional, sleek look to them. Absolutely. Which I think is great. 
So why don't you tell us why these are sustainable mm -hmm. and ethical? Yes, so these were made with SDGs in mind, the Sustainable Development Goals in mind. So that means that not only are they not made of animals, but they don't use any hazardous uh, substances when they are being made. There's no carcinogens that are made uh, that. by making these or in these you know leathers at all these synthetic leathers at all and there's no environmental hormones as well so these are not bad for the environment and also as i said earlier these last more than 10 years sometimes so these are going to be around for a long time it's not like you have to throw them out right away you know i think sometimes for me personally i feel like i need to buy leather because it's going to last longer it's mm -hmm. going to be more durable mm -hmm. but this is a great way to kind of fill those needs of mine where i do want to be more ethical i'm a vegetarian mm -hmm. I try, you know, replace plastics with glass. I try to do a lot of these different types of things. And leather is one of those things with handbags that I just haven't been able to get yeah. completely behind yet because mm -hmm. of the two to three years, you know, that they usually take to to start to break down. So this for me is an amazing selling point. Absolutely. That it actually lasts mm -hmm. and it being way lighter than an actual leather bag. So mm -hmm. I think that's great. Yeah, these are a great substitute for regular leather for anybody, even if you are not a vegetarian or a vegan. Yeah, no, anything. for anyone. I just think that that's so great, these STGs are in mind. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And to learn more about these bags, you can look at the link in the description below. We have all the information there just for you.